This is episode 7 of the Ford Festiva Project Car Build. Now you might notice that we're not standing in your usual space out back by the car. That's because we have something different planned for today. We're going to be cleaning the dashboard off and getting it ready to be spray painted black. We need to tape off connections and just get it all cleaned and sanded and ready. Now Ashley has decided to go with an all black interior. There may be a splash of color, but it's pretty much all black. So it's going to be a yeah. pretty simple paint job at least. Yeah. First thing I did was braced up the dash. I bolted some scrap wood to the bottom and now we have a stable base to work on it. You can see it's very, it's just better. So now we can sand it down, get it ready and see what we can do with it. The dash is pretty dirty, so we have a lot of cleaning to do, but more importantly, a lot of sanding. Um, we have a couple of problem spots, some cracking over here at the corner. We're going to patch that up. These louvers, uh, they're kind of worn out and crusty and flaking. We're going to be pulling those out and swapping them out. At some point, somebody redid the car inside and they, they actually painted the dashboard. And you can see the difference here. Like right here especially. They didn't remove these when they painted it and you can see the edges. So it was a like a dark gray color and they did it light gray. Now we're going to be painting it again. That louver was particularly bad. You can see it's broken. And I don't know if you can see in there, but it's all crackly and crusty. Worn out.
Good. Mm-hmm. Looks good to me. So I think we have the dash about where we want it, nice and clean. Now we're going to take care of these cracks. They're not very noticeable now, but I know they'll stand out if we paint it. So I'm just going to put some of this. Just want to really mush it in there, make sure it fills it good. And this is a glazing and spot putty. And that's made to fill little cracks like that. When that's dry, we'll sand it, clean it, and then we're ready for paint. We got those cracks cleaned up. They look okay. Sanded down and cleaned off. We're ready for the paint, and this is the paint we're going to be using. It's made by SEM. It's trim black paint made for stuff like this. So I'm really bad at using spray cans. My finger is really weak. So I bought this thing that's supposed to make it easier. You pop it onto the, the top here and you can do it like this instead of like this. So that's what I'm going to do right now.
Well, Ashley got those pieces painted up beautifully. The paint is drying. We're gonna give it about two days, one to two days to cure for the paint to harden before we install it. If you try to install something with fresh paint, it's very soft and you'll probably bang it up and get scratches. The finish is so smooth. It's black, it's got a nice satin finish. Do you like it? It looks like new. It looks, it looks crisp. Awesome. Yeah. I was inspecting the cracks on that dash in the corner. You can barely see them. You can see them if you look because you know where they are, but they, they blend away. Like nobody knew looking at it would even know that they were there. Yeah. So there it is. Black dash. It's a start. I'm glad it's not light gray anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess in the meantime, we're just going to go back and start prepping the car for reinstallation, fixing any problems that we see, pulling out aftermarket wires. And I want to point out that little um, trigger thing for the spray can worked amazing. It was so easy to paint with that because I can't use the, the finger thing. It just doesn't work for me. This is the, this is the first color when they painted the car. Yeah, the car was red. Can you cut this little white thing? Oh, now mommy can start pulling them her way. How about this one? Yeah. Put it right on there. Do it. That's all. I want to bring that in later. Because her hose is in the way. Foam. Feels what? like a marshmallow. Why is it all sticky? So it sticks to stuff. We just gotta see when the dash goes in. Yeah, hang on. This is all gross. These two? Yeah. Look it, at how decayed that is. There's like nothing left of it. Hmm. So we're gonna be wrapping it up now. We made good progress. Yeah. The dash Huge looks progress. awesome. But I did want to talk about something else quickly before we left. And that is we get this question a lot. We're taking apart everything in the car. And people say, how will you ever get it back together? How do you keep track of all the parts and pieces? Yeah. So I just wanted to give you an example of what we do. Um, you see, we have a box right here. And basically, as we take each piece apart, we bag and tag. So this one says exhaust manifold. So here we have the fuel rail, oil pan, a uh, washer container, that's the washer fluid container, air intake bracket, just everything we have right here. Headlights. Center console. That's all we do. We put it in bags, we mark it, we keep track of it. It makes reassembly so much easier. You can just grab the bag you need for the item you're working on. And while there might be some varying hardware in that bag, you can usually figure it out which one goes where. It's usually pretty like common sense. You just look at it and say, yeah. oh, oh, obviously the longer one goes here. Now, when it comes to things like hoses, I take pictures. So that way, when we go to install it again, we know where all the hoses went. We don't sit there trying to figure out what was what. And that's about it. It's not as complicated as it seems. You just have to stay organized. I'm sure when we're reassembling, we're going to forget something. Oh yeah. And then we've had to do that kind of stuff in the past. You forget something and then you got to take it back apart to put that in so you yeah. can... There's like an order to do stuff and you're like, oh, you got to redo it. Yeah. But we're no pros. We're just 
backyard. Mechanics. <laughs> no, not even mechanics. We're just, we're just having fun. With that, I think we're gonna go. So thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. See ya.